I recognize the name Previum, but... Okay, uh, at Schiphol they have a sort of fast lane for oh, people yeah. who enroll in a uh, iris scan uh, program. Uh, and there are some other uh, advantages to being a member. It's pretty expensive to become a member. And here you would... 200 a year. Something yeah, something like that. Like but you can also park your car in a special... It's for people who travel every day or, or exactly. every week. Uh, yeah. So they can bypass um, uh, human operators checking their passport. But there's a very strong, uh, very... Um, you have to enroll first and they will do a, a background check. So it's, it's, but this, 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 you could use a chip for this, right? And, and actually be more efficient if, if, it's, if you trust it. If you trust the... Uh, and that's, yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely... I think this is the main reason. This was the reason in 2004 to introduce a chip. And I think that's still the best reason to do this. Uh, this extra biometric stuff and, and the resulting use cases are, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm, not, I'm, I'm skeptical, but uh, we'll see. Let me just give a demo of, uh, of the open source uh, software that we wrote. Like I said, we have a um, Java card applet, so we can load that, on, load that onto a, a blank Java card, and then we can emulate a passport. I'm not going to show that now. Um, we also have a of software that can read a passport. So I'm going to read my passport, and I'm not as stupid as the other two guys <laughs> in the photos. So can we mute the video? <laughs>